Have you given up on yourself in search of your love life? Well, you can date and even marry a robot just like Chinese software engineer Zhang Jiajia. Hello everyone, welcome back to Robot Future. In this video, we'll be discussing the Chinese artificial intelligence engineer who built his robot wife and married her. So if you're new here, please consider giving this video a huge thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications to get updated every time we post a new video. With all that being said, let's get started. A Chinese artificial intelligence engineer has married a robot he developed instead of looking for love. Zheng Jiajia, 31, chose to commit after becoming tired of his family's continual pestering and pressure to get married. So he went to Ying Ying, a robot he constructed late last year. After two months of dating, he dressed up in a black suit to marry her at a ceremony in Hangzhou, China's eastern city, accompanied by his mother and friends. Even though the authorities did not legally recognize the union, it had all the trappings of a traditional Chinese wedding, including Ying Ying's head covered with a red cloth in compliance with existing customs. Ying Ying, the newlywed wife, can recognize Chinese characters and images and pronounce a few simple words. Jia Jia might be the happiest husband around, one might imagine with a wife who doesn't speak much. <laughs> According to accounts, he married his creation on March 31st in a simple ceremony. On this day, Jia Jia wore a black suit while Ying Ying accompanied him in a black case, but with a scarlet fabric covering her head. According to the South China Morning Post, Jia Jia's mother and friends were present during the wedding. One of his pals reportedly expressed his dissatisfaction with his inability to locate a girlfriend for himself. Jia Jia is said to desire to improve his wife's settings to walk and assist with some of the home tasks. So, what if love is made in heaven? Science is also making love happen. Are you already imagining your love life with a robot? <laughs> Okay, so, Ying Ying was dressed in a black suit and her head was covered with a traditional crimson veil during the Chinese wedding ritual. According to the Chinese publication, Qiang Jiang Evening News, Zheng had to carry his 30 kilogram wife because she still couldn't walk. He stated that he intends to train her to walk and assist with household chores, obviously because of his cores. Another way of analyzing this trend is the gender gap. China has one of the most significant gender inequalities globally owing to sex-selective abortions allowing the country's internationally panned one-child policy, limiting the number of children each family could have for decades. According to the World Economic Forum's most recent statistics, there are 113.5 men for every 100 women in China. Many men will never find wives due to the gender imbalance and shifting attitudes regarding marriage among the country's middle class. Men in China find it difficult, if not impossible, to locate a woman to marry because of the middle class thinking about social status hierarchy. Is this, therefore, the way to go? Will human-robot hybrids make up a new society or future generations? Is there any other way to address the persistent gender gap in many countries worldwide? Perhaps while the majority continues to ask these kinds of questions, the forward-thinking minority is already moving forward. Take, for example, Zheng Jiajia and Yang Ying. The interaction between humans and artificial entities is not strange in specific fictional movie scenarios. For example, in the Chinese film Air Doll, a guy adopts a blow-up doll as his partner, which is shockingly brought to life with a single breath. How about My Girlfriend is a Cyborg, a Japanese robot romance film in which a young man unwittingly falls in love with a cyborg girl. In the imaginary world, the reality of these interactions with artificial intelligence is not difficult to comprehend. However, the instance of Zheng Jiajia, who was married to a robot he created, has elicited a mixed response on social media. While many people laugh at Jiajia's idea to construct a wife out of the robot, some believe that there are perks to marrying a robot. Now let's look into some other examples which uplifted human-robot relationships. 1. Akihiko Kondo Akihiko Kondo, a 35-year-old Japanese man, married Hatsune Miku, the famed Vocaloid virtual vocalist, last year in Tokyo at a ceremony attended by 40 guests, none of whom were his family. He became the husband of Hatsune Miku. He followed in the shape of a doll. Because it was a virtual bride, Kondo's mother turned down his son's wedding invitation. For my mother, it was not anything to celebrate, the young man told the Japan Times. Miko is a 17-year-old girl with large eyes and long aquamarine pigtails who stars in the virtual music program Vocaloid, which has tens of thousands of fans in Japan. I'll never cheat on her because I've always loved Miku, Kondo admits. 
Every time I've been thinking about her since March, Kondo has lived with Miku's hologram, housed in a $2,800 desktop computer built by the Japanese company Gatebox. I adore Hatsune Miku's entire concept, but I married the Miku of my house. Kondo, who considers himself a regular man, remarked, his hologram wife wakes him up and bids him farewell before leaving for work every morning. When he comes at night, he cautions Miko and she turns on the lights. Kondo takes Hatsune's stuffed toy to cuddle her before going to bed. The business in charge of the virtual equipment has issued a marriage certificate that says Kondo and Miko have married, beyond the dimensions even though the marriage may not be legal. This guy is definitely in the category mentioned above of looking into positively marrying a robot. 1. Joey Morris Okay, no one in the world has the authority to pass judgment on other people's decisions, especially when they involve concerns of the heart. However, that universal fact did not stop many individuals on the internet from stepping aside after hearing about Joy Morris's experience. This guy has a serious relationship with his toy robot and is reportedly planning to take it to the next level. Morris admitted to local media that he fell in love with the Robotroll at first sight. Indeed, he was wrapped in her delighted smile and her crazy pink hair, as he put it. Because of course, the allure of such a body would entice anyone to fall in love, right? It may be tough to fathom the type of love this man feels, but if we consider a few factors, we may also be able to comprehend his strange obsession. Joey was once in love with a light, a transformer truck, and even a Halloween figurine before his current relationship. As a result, we can deduce that the man does not fall in love with toys as sexual partners, but does feel fond of objects he likes. The only issue left to be resolved is what it means to talk about a relationship or to use the term dating, which in our language translates to going out, but in a romantic sense. Since purchasing the statue for $20 on eBay in 2017, this man has publicly expressed his love without fearing others being judged. He hopes to fly to Florida with his robo-troll and possibly marry later. However, we're unsure how he expects to do this. Isn't it crazy? Now let's move on to some more reasons why humans marry robots. As you can see, people nowadays do marry robots, and it's anticipated to happen more frequently in the future. So why does this happen in the first place? What makes men want to marry robots? We've compiled a list of some of them to help you comprehend this bizarre trend. 1. Robots are sensitive. These machines have access to more information about you than any human. They can even detect your heart rate, temperature, and other vital signs. Who wouldn't want their biological data to be known by their wife? 2. Robots will only make a drama of a situation whenever you want. There will be no more irrational jealousy fits directed at you. That's presumably what men believe when they marry a robot. 3. Robots can be turned off at any time. Not to be rude, but we all wish we could switch off our relationships from time to time. Could you not kid yourself? It's true. It is, in fact, achievable with a robot. What's not to like about that? 4. Robots won't die If you marry a robot, you won't even have to worry about losing your wife. Your connection will be free of grief and mourning. I suppose we'll be useless till death separates us. Of course, there have been various reactions throughout the world to this unusual union, but it's a clear illustration of how relationships and intimacy are evolving in the light of expanding technology. Turning to technology for emotional and sexual fulfillment may be the only option for many people facing physical, mental, and geographic obstacles that impair their relationships. There are a variety of possibilities in this line, many of which entail the use of remote sex technology, such as long-distance kissing devices, virtual reality haptic bodysuits, or connected pillows for couples who are separated by distance. Adult virtual worlds where users create avatars and participate in virtual gatherings are options. Others are also developing robotic prototypes with the illusion of sentience and human augmentation that give companionship for human users, like Zhang's concept. If anything, these new technologies can help you put the importance of connections and human contact into context. However, how these breakthroughs will affect human connection and intimacy in the future is still a work in progress. We understand that after seeing the entire video, you may be surprised. It's incredible how many bizarre events occur around the world, but hey, to each his own, right? Let's not pass judgment on others and accept their activities if they don't harm us or others. So what do you think about the matrimony between humans and machines? Let us know in the comment section. Like, share, and subscribe to Robot Future for more content like this. And don't forget to enable the notifications. We'll be back with another video. Until then, goodbye.